what I used to do is kill him. Because I don't think that, like, if I go abroad, I'm not gonna be useful on myself. We all were thinking, like, traveling, go to Senegal or go to another countries to make music or even travel to Europe. But, like, thank God that State of Mike is arriving in the Gambia, teaching us how to produce ourselves, we, especially we the youths, like how we can produce ourselves, how we can learn to beat music, how we can record and how we can mix. Like, they give us a chance, like, to achieve our goal and, like, to achieve our dreams. I never think in my life like I'm going to like be a video cameraman or shooter. I'm going to be like an editor to be, edit, to be editing videos or documentary. chilling with my dudes every day in the hood, playing sports, doing all sort of ghetto thing like a teenage. One of my dudes told me like there's going to be a project called State of Mike. They're going to establish this audio and video stuff like if, if I want to concentrate like I could just come, it's free. I said, wow, ah, that's going to be tight, man. Ah, fortunately, they came and established like the project. And the first day I went for the mission, it was off the hood. Then I started to go for training. the studios here was um, um, the producers were foreigners you know you know like they were just here you know after for money so that's why I'm proud that you know you guys came here and opened this state of mind for us you know and trained the Gambian youths for them to you know to, to, for them to do this work for themselves you know they need to be linked you know get connected they should know what is happening every day in the in the in the field in the industry And now compared to like two years back, it's quite different. A lot of things are going on. Yeah, a good example is like uh, the videos that I'm working on and the DVD that I just released not long ago. I inserted it after uh, having training uh, at the state in my studios. And with that training, I gain a lot of knowledge and I believe I can do it. And then I just give it a shot. For the first time, uh, a young guy like me uh, doing such big things that have never been done before in the Gambia. I would have filmed Cross Superstar. I would have filmed in 2006, around December. And I met the state of my in my 2007. So I introduced myself to them and I was given the opportunity to do some basic training in video and shooting and editing. Then right now the script is finished. I've already started shooting in December. I've shot one scene and I'm doing another one this week. And the movie is basically about music and talents in the Gambia. Stay to the mic, we grounded. And now we about to get you dumbfounded with the flow. The Gambia DVD is a hip-hop DVD magazine. Uh, more than 10 videos, a lot of interviews, freestyles, and a lot of things going on in the music business. There are many mad dudes out there, man. Mad Gambian talented youths out in the streets. I mean, they, they just don't got this, this chance. But if they could get this chance, man, they could be like big producers and be artists. Trust me, man.
let me be in state of mind, like state of mind to be in another standard. Invest and start building more state of mind, building more studios, maybe even outside the Gambia. State of mic open another new page for the youths to create their own things and believe themselves that they could make better and better and better and they could make like Gambian music to bomb. Because like if you help youths it means that you help the future. Come on.